Well, hello there, and welcome to one of four videos of me throwing myself at a boss from the recently released Pale Court mod for Hollow Knight. It's that time of year where I need to make YouTube videos to cover for missing my stream while I'm out of town, and I figured what better chance to try out a new twist on an old favorite. Fair warning, it's been somewhere in the neighborhood of a year or two since I last played the game, so there's definitely going to be some rust to shake off. If you like what you see, consider doing all the standard YouTube liking and commenting and such, and if you really like what you see, you can find me at twitch.tv slash moonroster, link in the description. All that said, enjoy the video. Okay, so <laughs> this one's going to be a little different. We're going to go fight Hegemal. Uh, however, I've already fought Hegemal for like 30 minutes. Uh, there was a little bit of a recording oopsies, and the first 30 minutes of footage were, were lost. Uh, good news is, did not beat him in those 30 minutes, so we'll still get that fresh... Uh, I do have a little bit of experience with the boss going into it, though. Uh, and with that experience, I'm gonna try something a little different. We're gonna get rid of ol' ol' Mark of Pride. That's... Is that what that was called? It's been a minute. Uh, and good old Sharp Shadow. I wanna try out the, the Mark of Purity in Long Nail, just, just to see. This is also a new day, so I, uh, any confidence I had built up by fighting the four bosses yesterday is, uh, is gone. So, I know I said in the Zemmer video that that would be the one where I shake off the rest. Turns out we'll also get to shake off some rust today. But, uh, we have this dude right here. It's, uh, right in front of the entrance to the city. You just dream nail it. We'll go fight this nerd. So, the reason I want to do the, uh, the Mark of Purity, I think it's called, is, uh, two, two, two reasons. One, the beginning of the fight is just kind of wailing on him, and that seemed like a good opportunity to get some, some hits in. Ooh. need you to face. Okay, he didn't, he didn't feel like going to face dude, so. I don't know if that was as good as I wanted it to be. Oh, right, that's not a little early. We'll give this a couple tries. I'll admit I'm very used to the, uh, the sharp shadow dashes, and honestly, I'm kind of used to the mark and nail range. So this might take some getting used to, but you get a lot more hits in at the beginning with this, certainly. You must be close. There we go. Get one off. This was kind of the other reason. It seems impossible to screw up this pogo if you're just machine gunning hits down. I forgot he does a double dash. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what the fight looks like. He does uh, the stuff at the beginning there. In between phases, he goes on a little rampage in the middle, uh, taking the place of, like, False Knight and False Champion, just chilling. And uh, I know he does at least two... He has at least two separate rage out in the middle of the arena. Sort of... Uh, intermissions, I guess we'll call them. I was just gonna say, you must be close. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, he does uh, two full masks when you when you hit him like that. When you, if you uh, take contact damage with him, so I should really endeavor to avoid that. But uh, of the four, because this is the the fourth one I'm fighting, this dude seems like the hardest by a lot. Okay, I can get like a uh, mask of healing, maybe two. I could get one. Alright, I am deceased. <laughs> Phase transition, not ideal. I do like the auto pogoing though. It's nice to not have to time it, although it's not like it's hard to time a pogo. 
It's certainly an aggressive setup. I think there's merit to it if I can manage to take a little less damage. does not have to be done. Okay. You know what? I got to play with it a little. I don't think it's I don't think it's my straight. I think I'm gonna kinda go back to where I was. Oh, I really like sharp shit. I just it just works well. Hopefully the, the muscle memory will just kick in here. Because like I said, I've, I've had some attempts already. About half an hour's worth. If anything, in a weird way, it's almost nice that the footage got lost. Because <laughs> this was shaping up to be like a full hour of fighting this boss. just gonna say you have to legally oh you're gonna do that okay not ideal I'm remembering that I had a, a strat for so in phase two when he does the wall trip like the full charges he does two of them in a row and I'm remembering I had developed a sort of trick for those to just dash through him because Shade Shadow is... Shade Shadow? Shade Soul? I don't know. Whatever whatever the charm's called. It's good eats. Get some healing in. You can get two if you do it safely. I uh, didn't do the same thing. Not ideal. Okay. Not a bad attempt, though. I feel like I was the most in control of phase one I've been so far today. I, I kind of mentioned this in the recording that got lost, but uh, for being the boss that the attempts end the quickest on, just because he's very uh, perpetually aggressive, uh, he certainly has the longest run-up between attempts. This is uh, by far the best I've ever done. Why do I speak? <laughs> Okay, this is now formally the best I've ever done. I've never actually damaged him during this intermission before. I'm assuming you're going to do three charges. That's a new one. Okay. Apparently he can slam shit back down on you. That's a new move. I'm assuming that's the fight, by the way. Like, I'm assuming if we can get through that, he might have one more intermission, and then he'll probably die during it? 
easily the best I've ever done by a country mile. Wouldn't it be funny if this ended up being the, the shortest video, even though in terms of actual time spent on the boss, it's the, the most by a lot? Okay, get our, get our two heals off. was trying to dash. A second earlier we were dashing through him there. I'm getting better at not getting hit, which I think is the big thing. Like, obviously we want to do as much damage to him as possible, but I think a big part of it is dodging his nonsense. I'm getting better at that. Just thinking. Get away from him. Just get the one heal off. Foolish. Okay. Not ideal. We were handling phase one really well. The transition was awkward and it kind of killed our rhythm. I have this boss. There's there's a universe where this boss is beatable, though. I've seen the light. You must be. I was just going to say you must be a hit away. chunk of the way into phase two. If I'm making it into phase two and actually like throwing hands and fighting, I consider that a good attempt. If I can see the phase three transition, like the, the second intermission, that's excellent. That is, uh, I think, second best attempt so far. A little misinput there. Ooh, 
saw that coming a second too late. And I was robbed blind there. I don't know why. I guess I dashed like a just a moment too early so that the the shade dash was not up yet. Devastating. If anything, I'm happy our opening gambit's pretty solid. Six hits there, Pogo, two hits on the way down, two more hits. Oh, that was ugly. That was even uglier. I think I can get two. I can't. Oh, I shouldn't have. Forget about the the wave. The jumping slam doesn't happen in the first phase, so it, it catches me off guard sometimes. I like the big overhead swing. Like I just don't dodge the swing outright, or even if I do, I don't uh, dodge the wave. We were close, I think, to a transition there. Good attempts so far. I'm again... Weirdly counterintuitively almost kinda glad we lost the first recording. It's just gonna say, you legally have to go. Charged into the the same wall twice? I didn't know that's a thing he could do. I guess it's because I was on the other side. He must just always charge towards you. I figured I could just hang out like in between him and the wall and it would be safe, but I guess he'll just charge the same wall again if you do that. Good to know. I'm not a hundred percent sure shading through him there is correct. <laughs> Super clean phase one. All right, nothing you can do there. If you, if you get trapped in the corner during that charge, you're just you're just sad. <laughs> Still though, super clean phase one. I think I found. The exact peak aggression for the beginning there. Oh, that's not good. Thank you, safe. Oh, 
Oh, what a terrible time for the screen to freeze. I'm just gonna keep mashing the button. Oh! Have we done it? Are we cool? Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> Honestly? Okay, sorry. Ogrim, after all that's happened, do you still hope? I was not in love with this fight for the first half hour that got lost. I have ended up loving this fight. Alright, free charm, please. I say free. I had to fucking earn that shit. <laughs> Boon of a hollow nest. Tell me all about it. Pale worm's shine. This pale worm's beacon shines brightly through the charm. Its blessing bestowed upon the land known as Hollowness was able to elevate the lesser bugs that resided in its domain. Transforms all spells to take on a purified form. That sounds cool. Let's go see what that's all about. Oh, we get a uh, spendy one, huh? Oh, if we just sit here, we can get some soul. We gotta at least see what the cool spells look like. I don't know if they'll be better or worse. I mean, it's a... Ooh. Okay. That's pretty good. You gotta wonder if, like, it works with, uh... With other stuff, for example, what's the one? Yeah, 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 yeah here we go. A horde of volatile baby flukes. What happens if we... Okay, it, it just gets overridden. Still, very cool. Well, already. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching and all that. Um, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>